guys, welcome to the video today. Uh, I'm Riz, this is Aya-chan. So today we're gonna talk about five things that I like about living in Japan. So, let's start. Here, we have a hungry chan here. <laughs> okay. Number one. <laughs> one, one, one. Okay, number one. Better salaries. Mm. Better salary. I mean, I'm a Mexican, of course, she's Japanese. Uh, she doesn't really understand how poorly we earn in Mexico. <laughs> in Mexico, uh, the salaries are so bad. You know, with third world country, I mean, it's obvious. Uh, the salaries are so bad. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you have a part time job in Mexico, if you have a full time job, you might not able you might not be able to pay your rent, your food, or everything you have to pay in your life. And for example, here in Japan, you can, with even a part-time job, you can survive. That's the most important. Maybe you cannot live the luxury or everything like that, but you can survive, you can pay rent, eat, and of course if you're a single person, right? If you don't have any kids or something like that, with a part-time job, you can do it, right? Yeah, that's right. But sometimes you need to uh, work, like uh, in the morning, uh, you work in convenience store. You can you need to work other place, mm -hmm. but well, you can earn uh, enough money. Yeah, that's true. I mean, maybe if you have part times, maybe you don't earn time. much. Mm -hmm. But you can work to to you can have you can have two part time jobs, yeah, right? Part time job, but or you know, even one is fine. Or even one is fine. Yeah, you can actually survive with one part time job. And that is good, that is great news, for example, people that want to come to Japan to study, for example, you can have a part-time job while you are studying and you can actually earn more, enough money to even save money when you go back to your country, depending on what country you live from. You come from, if you come from Spain, maybe not enough because you, you need to spend in euros, mm -hmm. but if you come from Latin America, you can even save money on a part-time job. That's, mm -hmm. that's very interesting. That's something I like about Japan mm -hmm. and that's amazing. Yeah, well, one thing I need to say that, mm -hmm. Uh, if you come to Japan as student, uh, you you need to um, how do I say study. So that's why you cannot work so much. Like I don't remember, but uh, hours are changed. Mm. But you need to how do I say one once a week. I think once a week, once a week, not one month. Only forty-eight hours, I think. Yeah, that's true. If you are a yeah, student, you only can work part time in certain hours, no yeah, more. Yeah, 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 mm. no. So and also, how do I say? If you uh, come to Japan as tourist, you cannot work. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. I mean, yeah, like any country, if you enter as a tourist, yeah. you cannot work. But I mean, whenever if you have the chance to work in Japan, and people working in, here in Japan, they earn uh, significantly more than. Mm -hmm. Latin America countries, for example. I don't know about USA, of course not USA, but about Latin American countries. Uh, nothing to do like it. It's it's a nice living like that. That's not the only good thing about it. Yeah. Number two. So this is this one is pretty much almost the same as Aya Chan in, in her video. It's like it, the streets are safer, right? You can walk on the street with your phone, like t -t 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 chatting. I mean, it's illegal to walk uh, watching your, your phone and walking. But about safetyness, it is very safe. You can walk on your phone, you can be on the train, you can sleep on the train with your phone on your hand, even you can drop it on the floor and nothing is gonna happen to your phone or your wallet or anything. That is super good. So whenever you walk on the street, on the, on the, for example, 9 in the night, when I come back to my home, I, it's like 9.30, 10, something like that. And I'm walking with my phone, there's no one on the street uh, and I don't feel nervous or unsafe. It's a chiquito, yeah! I have mine. I have mine. Let's go dance together. Like yes. left, right. <laughs> Hold on. Left, right. Left, right. <laughs> okay, now. Number three. Number three is uh, like here in Japan, there is a lot of old people. That's not good, right? But there is a lot of old people. But most of them have work. Mm -hmm. They have a well-paid, medium, it well-paid job. Well-paid job. Even though they are like 70 year old, they are still working. For example, here, one good thing about here in Japan is that if you work in a company, 
they're gonna let you work until maybe you are 70 years old. Of course, if you want, if you do a great job, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. If you don't do a bad work job, then no one wants you. That's uh, in every right? But if, if you continue working, doing the things that you must, uh, everything, you can work very old. Yeah. Something very cool about Japan that you can continue working even very old and you can find a job even you are 60, 70 year old. You can find a job. Mm -hmm. That is something very cool. The only bad thing about that one is that because there's a lot of old people working, they don't let the young, the young people to get to those positions. <laughs> That's the only bad thing. That because the old people is, stays working for too long, uh, the, the spaces, the positions are never ne almost never available for young people. So they have to get very old until they get to those positions. But well, you gotta work. Right? If you have a job, uh, So chat ya chat. Number cuatro, yon. Cuatro, sí. Number four. Number four. Eh, it's a different culture. Japan has thousands of years since it was created, technically. So you can. There's a lot of things that they can carry. They've been carrying up from long time ago. So they, you have a lot to learn. And it's a very different culture, and I like it. It's it's completely different from Mexico in in all the senses, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what uh, did you how do you say surprise about the Japanese culture? One thing very surprising about here, the different culture, is how they tropicalize the Christmas thing. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. For example, Christmas, you know. Uh, Talking about culture, right? Uh, Christmas is about, you know, Latin America. Especially in Latin America, it's about family, right? And we with the family. Uh, well, no, no, I mean, sorry. Latin America is about uh, religion, right? The birth of Christ, and also we are recently talking more about family, right? Same as USA is about mainly presents and things like that, right? Here in Japan, Christmas is a day for couples. <laughs> it's a day for couples, so they go to those fancy hotels to celebrate, like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Celebrate, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's only for couples, and that's kind of very different. Uh, I mean, it's Christmas still, but it's like completely different. I know they change it a lot. I mean, it's interesting, just a weird. <laughs> yeah. uh, so the family only to go celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, small children uh, celebrate with your their parents, but you know, teenagers or more. They celebrate with friends, couple, well, boyfriend, girlfriends. So yeah, it you feel maybe weird, a bit weird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, number five. Number five. One thing I like about living in Japan is the service. You get a great service whenever, wherever you go. All the people is always polite. Always, uh, they have to welcome you with a smile, serve you with a smile, everything with a smile, very kindly, uh, supportive. Uh, there are some issues with that, but uh, after all, uh, overall, I mean, overall, it's a very good service because you feel comfortable, they do a lot of things, they give you tea, they leave you tea, they also worry about you. But the service is very, very good. Everyone's so uh, dedicated to offer you the best, ex the best experience. So whenever you come as a tourist, it's a very nice experience because you feel like the king, like, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it's a very the service is very good. Yeah, if you get used to Japanese service, if you go to other countries, you how to say depressed or <laughs> very feel <laughs> bad. <laughs> but you need to get used to other countries' service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, for example, Mexico. I mean, there's a lot of there's a, like a balance between good service and uh, a nice service. What I mean, for example. Service in Japan is they do whatever they need to, uh, so you receive whatever you are paying for technically and you feel comfortable and everything. But for example, talking about Mexico, comparing to Mexico, the Mexican service is very natural. You can actually feel the feelings of the other person and you can even make a friendship with the waiter, for example. Here it's just like, yes, I'm serving you everything, but stay away, right? Like, mm -hmm. no, more, no more than that, right? Mm -hmm. And in, in, in difference with Mexico, you can even joke with the waiters. You can even oh, yeah. say bad words to the waiters or the other way around. And you're just joking and having fun together. So something that's very good about Mexico. But the problem is that because uh, because you make many too many jokes, maybe you get distracted, they never, done, they never had the things. They never had the things done. And here in Japan, it's like, 
and we're gonna make sure you receive what you're paying for and then you're gonna have a nice experience but it's not like you're gonna feel the connection with that person it's like mm -hmm. kind of pros and cons but there's a, and overall it's a good service that's very good yeah i also like Mexican service too. Yeah, for example, I mentioned what she liked about Mexican service is that you can actually joke with the waiters, mm -hmm. right? So they, yeah. they recommend things. You can laugh with the waiter for real, right? Have a real human connection with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true connection. Yeah, yeah, really true connection. Mm -hmm. But overall, Japanese service, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for coming <laughs> again, Choco uh, See you around another time, and I'm gonna, it's gonna take me forever to edit these videos. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say that. Okay, <laughs> see you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>